We made this mind-blowing AI trailer using Luma Dream Machine. If you want to see the full trailer, click here, then come back to this video where we're going to show you exactly how we did it, so you can do it too. Let's go. The first part of every AI film is the idea. You want to create something that takes full advantages of AI's strengths while being aware of its weaknesses. For Eternal, we created a medieval influence world inspired by Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and Berserk, where warriors enter a tournament every 10,000 moons for a chance to win eternal life by slaying the horrific creatures that roam this world. This lends itself perfectly to showcasing incredible visuals. There aren't a lot of movies or TV shows in this style, so we thought it would be something people would actually want to see. That way, we could also rely on narration to do the heavy lifting of establishing the plot by providing exposition in a classic storytelling fable style. Voiceovers add another touch to make your AI trailers more realistic, and you can use them to build a story around your film. Keep in mind, if you're making a trailer, you don't actually want to explain everything, because the point of a trailer is to get people to want to watch the actual film. Since there's no actual film in this case, we want to give people just enough to get some idea of what it's about, while focusing on making something people would actually want to see. For this narration, we used Eleven Labs, which creates hyper-realistic AI voiceovers. We chose Julian, typed in a script, and ran a few generations with different settings to get the right one. Make sure that once you have your narration or dialogue, you don't just drop it in. Edit it to create exactly the right spacing and timing so that it fits perfectly for the layout of your trailer, especially around your music. For Eternal, we had a very specific aesthetic we were going for, so we wanted to make our own music. If you don't know how to make your own music, you can check out our Octave Cinematic Music Libraries available in the Film Crux store, and just choose a song you want to build your trailer around. We use the music to create the actual layout of the trailer itself. If you watch a lot of trailers, you'll notice this is a common trick, where there's one or two central musical themes, and the entire trailer is edited around that. The current trick to getting mind-blowing AI video clips is to use image to video. Image to video in Luma Dream Machine essentially allows you to upload an image and then Luma will use that image as either the first or last clip of your video generation. To create images, we use Midjourney, which is a powerful AI image generator. Just change your settings to 16 by 9, which is the normal widescreen aspect ratio, and then type in your prompt. For our prompts, we use keywords like film still, cinematic, and Elden Ring style, in addition to what we actually wanted to see in the frame, like knight wielding a colossal sword, demon, or high priestess. Once you get an image you like, just click upscale to get it in higher quality, and then download it to your computer. The more generations you make, the more great shots you'll have to choose from, so spend most of your time here, and this will in large part determine the quality of your videos. To create all the videos, we used Luma Dream Machine. We took all the images we generated before in Midjourney and ran them through Luma's image to video. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just add the image, select whether you want it to be the first or last frame, we typically choose first, and then press generate. You can also use the image to video in combination with the text prompt, which we found gets the best results. Keeping it simple and clear tends to work best, so we added prompts like tripod shot, super slow motion, or whatever's in the actual shot like statue or demon. Just like the image is the more clips you generate, the more you have to choose from for your final film, and you don't have to take the clips as they are. You can drop them into your timeline, speed them up, or reverse them to get them to look exactly how you want, and then focus on placing them in the right spot in your edit. The trick to great editing with AI is to focus on just the best parts of your shots and nothing else. If we already have a trailer layout with the music, all we need to do is drop in our video clips where they fit best, sort of like a puzzle. Big moments in the music should have suitably big shots. Since we have a build up with the drums leading into the titles, we created a series of rapid fire shots to match. We also wanted to create a cinematic look for the whole thing, so we added a letterbox template above the whole project and then started on the sound design. Sound design was extremely important for this trailer. Using things like Foley to create the on-screen sounds grounds them in reality and gives them a lot more weight to help the visuals hit even more. Here's an example of a shot with no sound design. Now here's that same shot with just a single sound effect underneath it. It makes all the difference in the world. If you need great sound effects, check out our sound effects libraries in the Film Crux store, which we use for almost every project. You can also check out Splice and other places if you're looking for specific sounds. The trick to getting them to sound good is layering. The better you can layer the sounds, the more full and rich your sound design will be. Another pro tip is to alternate between quiet moments and loud moments, so each has more impact when contrasting with the other. Once you put the finishing touches on your trailer, the only thing left to do is export. Every 10,000 moons, the mightiest warriors from all the lands enter a tournament like no other. 
but they do not fight amongst themselves. They fight against the foulest beasts of this world. Demons, dragons, and devils of all kinds. You can see the full trailer here. If you want to make AI films and trailers like this one, every single shot was made with Luma Dream Machine. So check it out at the link in the description, and we'll see you in the next one.